So Lionel Messi's time at Barcelona came to an end yesterday after 21 years at the club. There was a rather emotional press conference where he confirmed his departure. The Barcelona legend said in this press conference, I'm really sad because I didn't want to leave this club. I love Barcelona. I wanted to stay. My contract was ready. I did everything in my possibility to stay. He scored 672 goals at the club in 70, 778 matches in all competitions. Amazing. Uh, 34 trophies, including 10 La Ligas, four Champions Leagues. Um, um, PSG is set to be the next destination for him and his father is currently overseeing his new contract so let's get more on this in the current situation at Barcelona as well uh, because former Barcelona midfielder Ronald de Boer is on the line. Hello Ronald, how are you? Good morning Ronald. Good morning, Laura. Thanks, hey, Ellie. thanks for joining us, thank you. Thanks. Quick. R- Ronald, I was going to say to you mate, I know Laura was looking at me there, I, I still can't believe this is happening. I mean Clearly, it is happening. When that, that press conference yesterday was 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 very emotional, but how surprised are you to see Messi leaving Barcelona, Ronald? I think, like everybody else, everybody is unbelievable surprised that uh, that he's not gonna wear the Barca shirt anymore. And uh, of course, you knew there was one day coming an area a post uh, Messi uh, area, uh, but not probably. Uh, uh, that he's wearing another shirt, maybe in in Argentina with new new uh, new world's boys, but that's the only club that I was thinking of. And now maybe go to Paris Saint So I think uh, nobody saw this coming, and me either. Ronald, we had we had Graham Hunter on briefly, uh, the Spanish football correspondent, who's been who's been on top of the story, and he said to us that he feels that that Messi's been very very badly treated by Barcelona. Is that how you see it? Uh, I think uh, Barcelona put themselves in this situation. I think uh, years ago already, I think they're like the problem. And then I also point the finger to La Liga, who now takes step forward, but also the government itself. Because I think if you have a company like Taxport and they're making uh, debts uh, for years and years and you take a mortgage every, uh, every year and so you cover it up and you pile it up every mortgage, every mortgage, I think every other company would already be that yeah. buried. And I think that is there lies the problem in my eyes. And they st- uh, should have stepped up to, uh, earlier, uh, saying this: what you're doing is not right. Uh, like buying Griezmann, Dembele, uh, Coutinho for uh, hundreds of millions. Yes, uh, there is no, in my eyes, uh, responsibility towards, uh, yeah, uh, the company itself, Barcelona. I think that uh, there lies the big uh, problem in my eyes. Mm. Um, lots of people, critics will say, he should have taken a reduced wage. Um, He's already, he had already agreed to reduce wage, yeah, hadn't yeah. he? And then, and then he, mean, they wanted him to take another one, right? Yes, of course. But I mean, they, they even say he had to tar- uh, uh, play for free. I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, he's still one of the best players in the world. And uh, it's normal that he get a, a, a sort of, let's say, a reward uh, for uh, showing his skills. But uh, uh, I think... Uh, uh, I think they didn't see that coming. I thought, again, they thought they could get away with it. And that La Liga said, OK, uh, we close our eyes a little bit and uh, just go ahead and probably we're going to sell uh, hundreds uh, of millions, uh, millions of shirts again. And then uh, you can uh, cover it up a little bit. But uh, I think this is a, the, I think it's a step forward in my eyes. Or not about Messi, but forget about Messi. Well, Messi is for me, uh, Laura and Ellie, uh, the best player ever seen in my uh, area but i think a lot of people agree with that it's uh it's one of the guys that 15 years something or, or more on such a high level it's it's incredible and then you have the other guy Cristiano ronaldo doing the same but i think we we must be blessed that we can mm. that we witness uh, such a player mm. I just wanted to, sorry, I just wanted to ask actually, Ronald, because um, some people in this country, uh, just coming into the text at the moment, don't understand what the emotion behind this and say, look, it's, he's gone, you know, he's expensive, get over it. Could you just sum up why it is and, and try and kind of tell us that emotion from the Barcelona fans and, and Messi and that connection for, for people on the switchboard that don't seem to know it? No, I mean, when you're a Barcelona fan, I mean, you, the whole years you you you, you lived with uh, with with Messi when he comes, when he made his debut till the end, you you can't imagine that he's going to play for another shirt. Eh? It looks like uh, 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 how do you call it? Uh, 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 
treason. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, treason. Yeah, treason. <laughs> I think that that is, uh, of course, it, it's not, but the, it feels like the the yeah. defense feels like that. But now they, of course, their eyes are now on the on the Laporte and the uh, the board members because they think they they did uh, they handled it very wrong, and so for for the uh, as a player like Ellie, we can sometimes just be clear in our head, cool in our head. Okay, this is happening. We go on. But for fans, it's it's uh, it's a matter of life for the, their feeling. The, the passion is there. Hey, he played for uh, Rangers. Me myself also. You know what it does with fans if if the, the thing doesn't go well, and that uh, yeah, makes so much emotion lose for uh, many of uh, the people there. So and and what I said, Barcelona. It's like when I play there. Every day, uh, the papers write 50 pages only about Barcelona. You have two uh, newspapers, and then you have two in Madrid, and they write also about Barcelona. So, football is everything. It's like a religion. And then, uh, the best player ever leaving the club uh, hurts so much. But uh, I think the the only way to get out of it is like yesterday night winning 3-0 from Juventus. <laughs> People forget a little bit the pain, and when, once you start winning. They can accept it a little bit, but you know how it goes, Ellie. Also, when they're gonna lose, they're gonna point the yeah. finger straight. Already now they do it to Umtiti and some other uh, big uh, uh, guys who uh, earn a lot of money. What I think is ridiculous because it's not their fault. But uh, anyway, uh, that's gonna stay on when the, the the games or the results are not good. But when the results are okay. People can just live with it, and hopefully Kuman can do that with this squad. Ronald, I was going to ask you, mate. You're absolutely spot on. We saw how emotional Messi was yesterday. However, moving forward, you know, when one door closes, another one opens. Everybody now, certainly over here, we are automatically thinking that PSG will be his next uh, next club. Is it as straightforward as that? Yeah, you, you know it's yourself, guys. Uh, there are only uh, maybe City and uh, Paris in where with uh, big pockets. That's the only club that can afford uh, Messi. So uh, I think, and then you, of course, you have Messi itself. So if he thinks I'm going to play for Ajax, for example, because he thinks uh, they have a good uh, youth development, I want to <laughs> help the, lead, <laughs> the young boys. <laughs> maybe that he, uh, he's so humble, but I don't think so. I don't think so uh, either, Ross. No, no, I, but, uh, no but I, there are only a, a few clubs who can do that. So, uh, PSG is one of them. And then he has his friend Neymar there. The, and he knows also, if I won on this age win prize, I think that's a, a, a big possibility, of course, with uh, with Paris. Mm. Um, Ronald, we were speaking earlier on, myself and Ali, and Ali, I asked him the question, do you think that Barcelona should retire the number 10 shirt? And Ali said yes. What do you think? Uh... Yeah, of course we we had it with with Johan Cruyff number fourteen, of yeah. course. And uh, but in another way, no, I think you have to always dream uh, to be uh, just as good as Messi. And I think uh, the number ten just uh, must stay alive uh, and not uh, to say, okay, we we put it someplace and uh, nobody's going to touch it. No, just I mean, Messi is Messi. Uh, it doesn't for me really respond with the number ten. It's just uh, if I think about Messi, it's just about his football skills. So for me, another another shirt. So uh, uh, try to give it to a youngster, and you want to just be just as good as Messi. I'm not sure, Ronald. I'm not sure you'd want to be the next number ten, though. Take that jersey. Exactly. Give it that's some true. time. That's true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let the dust settle. Uh, Ronald, thank you so much for coming on. Really You're appreciate welcome. your time. Love you to see to. you, mate. Speak yeah. to you again very soon. Uh, Ronald De there, former La Liga champion with Barcelona. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.